And sometimes now the Weather Channel has been letting you, get, know. Letting you know, which is a new thing, which I couldn't yeah. believe. But that's that's one way of knowing about the solar flares. But he's right. Most of the things that will most likely happen is a weather-related issue. That would be the most likely scenario, as we've seen. And that's what you should prepare for. Hurricane. And I got to see the entire state when Hurricane Irene came through. I'm going to tell you right now, if we got hit with a Category 5, we would not have had power for months. That's how bad, and we didn't even get hit with a hurricane. We got hurt with a hit with a tropical depression, and and to think that if we were getting a hurricane category five, the damage what I saw just from the tropical storm, I can't, I still can't believe it. And it, I was out without power for six days. It was a great test for me. I loved it because I got to test what I had and what I knew. It wasn't a bad thing for me. For other people, it was very bad. Yeah. And that's an example. So, sorry, Dave. No, you're fine. And I mean, and that's the kind of, I mean, just stuff like that, that, you know, this store, you know, exactly what Perkman was saying. I mean, we were talking about it. That we grabbed some coffee beforehand. You know, having a store like this is what a, a resource. huge resource for you guys. I mean, you can come in here, you can put together a bug out bag, and what they might not have here, you can order online, you can find stuff. You know, but but have essentials with you. Have just even if you carry something in your car. You know, um, and so to have a bag where, you know, it, even if you just get caught in a snowstorm, and you run out of gas, you're sitting on the side of the road. Have blankets, have water, have have you know some food, you know some flares or some you know like you guys have. I don't even know where they are. Yeah, but Frank has, sticks. has some great I mean, stuff. Yeah. And if you go around the corner here, he'll show. A bug out bag. This is for four people, and he put all the ingredients on on the wall just so you can think. Because each bug out bag is different per person. Yeah. You're gonna need some. One, you need food. You need water. So that's a given. But what you might need for your particular situation. I agree. These guys were both talking about having a pack that's like way too big, and you know I've got a pack that's the size of Cleveland out in my car, but it's because I can haul it around with me. I'd rather have it all there, and then if I have to get someplace, I can then take the bag, open it up, and say, okay, what do I need out of this? What can I leave? Mm. You know, just because you have it doesn't mean you have to carry it. Awesome point. Okay? So you may have, if, if a tornado comes, you're going to need different stuff. If it's a hurricane, you're not going to dump your poncho. You're not going to dump your, you know, you're not going to dump your, your rain tarp. You're going to dump stuff that you don't need. You're going to, you know... So have a lot of stuff in there, but also know what it is, know what it's for, and know what you may end up. I mean, prep for things that are like legitimately going to happen around here. Hmm. You guys don't get a ton of tornadoes very often, but you know, you guys get bad weather. You get ice. I mean, you guys get crummy weather. You get, you know, whatever else you got over here. Bad drivers. I mean, you got tons of that. But don't don't prep Dunkin' Donuts because they're every four feet. There's a literally I pull up on my fingers. There's a Dunkin' Donuts next door. So I mean, prep things that you know that you're gonna need that you can't get to, but also prep things, especially when it comes to food that you like. Okay, don't prep stuff you're not gonna eat. If you if you've got spam and you hate spam, don't buy it. Buy something you're gonna like. Buy. Buy the wides or buy some of that stuff if you're not going to make your own. Buy that kind of stuff. Test it. Open it up and eat it. You know, I do. I do. And it's hard to believe. Yeah. I, I want to say, like, she, she's talking about bug out. Yeah. Um, as soon as the power goes down, the, the water that comes into your house is from an electric pumping station. It will shut down. So whatever water comes into your house is only good for six months countdown. So from the minute it comes out of the tap, it's only good for six months. The bottled water is good for a year. 
So you got to figure, once a pumping station goes down, you're like Brooklyn Prepper and us, I'm in an apartment, he's in the city. He's, he's going to have, you figure, 24 hours or less or the power goes out, you're not going to have any more water coming. You know your area. You know, like, you're in a place that has a well. I mean, I, don't, I doubt he's got a well. I mean, in Brooklyn, I mean, you know. So yes, I do. You, I yeah, got a well. I'm sure you jet do. Pack. Uh -huh. and, and a jetpack. Uh-huh. And a jetpack. Yeah. Is that where you keep your jetpack? Is it a well? Yeah. Uh -huh. I, so I mean, you, your situation is already different than his. You know, and, and I mean, and you're a female. You've got to prep different things than a guy has to prep. There, I mean, there's a whole lot of things. So you've got to prep for what's what you need, what your family needs, and just start slowly. I mean, you'll be you'll be fine. These guys close up. These guys close up at seven. So if you want to walk around, check out the yeah. stuff in the store. Wash my 